Jordan had gone out to shop with his friends. Jordan said, you know, we need to get chewing gum, guys. And they stopped at the gate gas station. And within the three and a half minutes that they were there, Michael Dunn drives in, parks next to them. When all of a sudden... Oh my God, somebody's shooting! He shoots 10 rounds into the car. Three of those rounds he aimed at Jordan. Jordan didn't deserve to be shot at. Jordan didn't deserve to die that way. son Jordan's um, 26th birthday today, right? He was senselessly killed back in 2012 after being shot by a man who complained about loud music uh, coming from a car that Jordan, Jordan was in. And you posted a very moving letter to your son on Twitter. And I just, I want to read part of it, okay? You said, I do this work for you now to honor your legacy and make sure that young people like you have a bright future and a chance to thrive to fix the laws that have created this gun violence epidemic, to confront systemic racism, to address the climate crisis, and all that ails America. Do you have confidence, confidence, Congresswoman, um, that progress will be made on those issues with a Biden administration now in place? I have absolute confidence. And as uh, President Biden has stated over and over again, he has laid out his complete national plan uh, going forward as to what he expects to be able to accomplish within the next four years. And he is a man who truly, really cares. He's got a wealth of experience all the years that politically he's been working on these kinds of policies. So this is nothing new to him. And he has the compassion and the wisdom and the sense of determination and strength that it takes to really kind of bring the country back together. And so I have no doubt that he will work uh, as, as quickly as he possibly can. But there again, as he has stated, it's going to take time. It's going to take time to heal the wounds that ail us now as Americans. last year with the CDC, um, I was able to lead a letter with all my colleagues, we, uh, which actually helped to secure $25 million for the CDC to study the effects of gun violence. So we are making some progress. And I do believe that uh, based upon what we've seen with, you know, the insurrection at the Capitol and the everyday gun violence, not just only mass shootings, but the everyday gun violence that the country still continues to be plagued by in our communities. I truly believe that uh, my Republican colleagues in the Senate also know that this is not a Democratic issue. This is not a Republican issue. This is a public health issue crisis that has to be addressed and that I don't believe there's one person that uh, can honestly say they don't know of someone or some instance within their community, family or whatever, that, that someone has not been affected uh, by gun violence. Mm -hmm.